Hey, Milo, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What for? We're going to the park, skating. Maybe get some pizza. How about it? I don't know. Maybe some other time. Well, what are you going to do? You I don't want to do anything. Let's go. There once was a boy named Milo who never knew what to do with himself. Not just sometimes, but always. Nothing, nothing ever interested him. Not even the things that should have. It's all a waste of time. Everything, even school, especially school. Who cares about all that stuff? A can dig a hole twice as fast as B. Big deal, maybe B was sick. Or maybe he just doesn't like digging holes. It's boring, useless, all of it.
Continue cancel. Continue cancel. Weird. Well, why not? What can happen? Continue. For Milo, who has plenty of time, one genuine turbike toll booth. For use by those who have never traveled into the lands beyond. Beyond what? To obtain a coin for paying toll, press button A. To obtain a map to find your way, press button B. It's up to date, carefully drawn, and shows the way to everywhere. You may now get into your car. What car? Drive carefully. Which car? Results are not guaranteed, however, if not perfectly satisfied, your wasted time will be refunded. Have your destination in mind. But, but wait, I'm not sure I want to go, and where would I go anyway? The map, the map, look at the map! Uh, I've never heard of any of these places. Well, uh, okay, okay, the castle in the air? The castle in the air, a very good choice, by way of Dictionopolis and Digitopolis. Now deposit coin and hang on. Sure, sure. It's not like I had anything better to do. Suddenly, Milo found himself driving along an unfamiliar country road. As he looked back over his shoulder, neither the toll booth nor his room were anywhere in sight. The sun sparkled, the sky was clear, and all the colors around him seemed to be richer and brighter than he could ever remember. He felt the breeze in his face, and as he drove, the scenery was rushing by. My, 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 my. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the land of X, to the land of expectation, to the land of expectations. What kind of place is expectations? Good question, good question. <laughs> well, now, expectations is the place you must always go to before you get to the place you're going to. Of course, there are some people who never go beyond expectation. My job is to hurry them along, whether they like it or not. I'm the weatherman. Do you think it will rain? But I thought you were the weatherman. Oh, no, 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 no. You misunderstand. I'm not the weatherman. I'm the one and only, all together, weatherman. Why weatherman? Well, after all, it's more important to know whether there will be weather than what. The weather will be come rain or snow. It's more important to know. to Dictionopolis? Well now, I don't know of any wrong road to Dictionopolis, so if this road goes to Dictionopolis at all, it must be the right road. Now you drive carefully now. Really weird. What have I gotten into here? As the car entered the broad green valley, the road dipped and turned. Milo began to daydream and pay less and less attention to where he was going. Before he knew it, he had taken the wrong turn. Everything began to change. <sighs> the car slowed down and finally stopped. Well, I'm not getting anywhere. Where 
am I? You are in the doldrums. <laughs> what are the doldrums? The doldrums are where nothing ever happens. And nothing ever changes. Who are you? We're the Lethargarians. I think I'm lost. Don't say think. That's against the law. That is a ridiculous law. Everybody thinks. We don't. And most of the time, you don't. That's, That's why, why you're, you're here. here. People who don't think often get stuck in the doldrum. <laughs> Stop at once. But if you can't laugh or think, what can you do? Anything, as long as it's nothing. And everything, as long as it is anything. There's lots to do. We have a very busy schedule. We wake. We wake. At dawn. We stretch. Anyway, well, I was on my way to Dictionopolis when I got stuck here. And do you know why you got stuck? I just guess I wasn't thinking. Precisely. Now, since you got here by not thinking to get out, you must start thinking. <laughs> I do love chasing cars. Start thinking. About what? Anything. Use your brain. That's what it's for. Mm, think about what? Think! Um, I know. I'll think about animals. 
animals. Um, the birds that swim and fish that fly. It's working. Keep thinking. Mm, animals. Some have spots. Some have stripes. Some have plumes. Some have scales. You're moving. Keep thinking. I know. I'll think about comets and rocket ships. Blast off! You did it. Isn't it amazing what you can accomplish with just a little thought? I guess I should thank you for helping me out at the doldrums. You're welcome. By the way, what's your name? My name is Milo. What's yours? They call me Talk. I'm the official watchdog. Talk? Talk? Okay then, Talk. Looks like you and me are going to be good friends. The best, I hope. Well, we should soon be arriving in Dictionopolis. Hold up, hold up. What kind of place is Dictionopolis? I'm not going any further till I know more about it. Well, Milo, I can see you're certainly starting to think about things. Well then, let me start from the beginning. Many years ago, a young prince sailed across the Sea of Knowledge. He came ashore in a part of this land inhabited only by monsters. He drove them back to the mountains of ignorance and founded the City of Wisdom, which soon grew into a kingdom, and the young prince became its king. No, it's not fair. Todd is 
isn't there something we can do? We'll see when we get to Dictionopolis. Let's go. Ah, oh, you must be there. Dictionopolis? Welcome to Dictionopolis. Today, by royal proclamation, is Market Day. Have you come to buy or sell? Buy or sell what? Why? Words, of course!
words talk. Have you ever seen so many words? Aren't they? Aren't they? They're fine if you know how to use them. Oh, I hope I know how to use them when we see the king. He's gonna let us rescue Rhyme and Reason. But how can we meet him, talk? Greetings. Salutations. Good afternoon. Hi there. By order of King As As, we welcome you to our country, nation, land, realm. Don't all those words mean the same thing? Of course. Then couldn't it make more sense to just use one word? Making sense is not our job. Obviously, you don't know who we are. We, we are, are the Duke of Destination, the Minister of Meaning, the Countess of Connotation, and the Undersecretary of Understanding. We, we are, are the King's, King's advisors. advisors. I'm pleased to meet you all. Come, the King is waiting. As the underbridge. Well, what have we here? My name is Molly, Your Majesty, and this is Talk. We thank you for seeing us, Your Majesty. Your palace is totally cool, charming, lovely, handsome, gorgeous. Silence. Leave us. Go. Get out. Close off. Well, what do you think of my beautiful kingdom? To tell the truth, Your Majesty, I find it all so confusing. Oh, that's true. <sighs> Things used to make a lot more sense before Rhyme and Reason were banished. Well, maybe you could let Rhyme and Reason re return. Oh, how nice that would be. Even though they were a bit bothersome at times, things always seemed to go so well when they were here. Well, we can rescue them. We'll be happy to try. Uh, I'm afraid it can't be done. Why not? Oh, oh much too difficult. Why, uh... You'd have to go to Tishtopolis and persuade the mathematician to agree to release the two princesses, and he'll never agree to anything that I agree to. Never! And even if he did, then you have to go through the mountains of ignorance where the monsters live, and from whence few have ever returned. Then, a fearful climb of a 2,000 step stairway to the castle in the air. A climb so terrifying, mind you, that even the monsters themselves won't risk it. That does not sound easy. I couldn't ask that of you. It's much too dangerous. Uh, however, if the monsters ever did decide to make that climb, it could spell the end of rhyme and reason. I'm afraid I don't know what to advise you. It sounds so dangerous. I'll have to think about that. Please, 
And so, Milo and Talk left Dictionopolis and headed for Digitopolis. But soon, to their dismay, the road grew narrower and narrower until it disappeared altogether. There is nothing to do but abandon the car and start walking. Wasn't that strange how the road just disappeared? If we don't find it, we'll never get to Digitopolis. And that could be the end of Rhyme and Reason. The road must continue somewhere around here. Look! <laughs> Digitopolis, finally! Hmm. Yeah, I think we should travel by miles. There's only five of them. But if we traveled by half inches, think of how fast they'd go by. But it must make a difference. Well, of course it makes a difference. Good thing I came along and you would have gone the wrong way. But aren't all of these signs the right way? Not necessarily. They might all be the wrong way. Just because you have choices doesn't mean that any of them have to be correct. Now, follow me. I know a shortcut. Watch your head. <laughs> Welcome to Digitopolis, the land of numbers. Well, here we are. Where? The numbers mine the pride of Digitopolis. So this is where numbers come from. Of course. Where did you think numbers came from? You have to dig them up, and it's hard work. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure it's worth all the trouble. Even I'm sure numbers are that important. <gasps> not important? Not important? I only meant numbers were important to me. What else do you use when you enumerate? What else are you using when you calculate? Or calibrate? What else are you using to find the radius? <laughs> The circumference? The square of the hypotenuse! The boy looks overwhelmed. I think we can explain our <coughs> point more simply, more clearly, like this. How do you have T for two without the two? Without the two, there can't be two for T.
does all of this belong to the mathematician? Well, of course it does! <laughs> By the 117,458 hairs on my head, this mine is mine, and it's all <laughs> mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You must be the mathematician. Ah, but who are you? And what brings you here? My name is Miley, Your Majesty. And I'm Talk. We've come from Dictionopolis to see you, sir. As has. So you've met that obnoxious brother of mine, have you? Well, I'll wager he's filled your head with that wordy nonsense. Well, I'll set the record straight. Dictionopolis doesn't add up. Words can mean anything based upon your mood or your tone of voice. But numbers, oh, numbers are always exactly what they're supposed to be. <laughs> oh, 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 how inconsiderate of me. After that long journey, you must be famished. <laughs> Lunch for two. <laughs> how very thoughtless of me. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. I am Starving. Me too, thank you. Very tasty. Delicious. Oh, please have some more. Thank you. <laughs> oh. It's funny, I feel hungrier than before. Me too, and I ate so much. Well, of course you did. It's a specialty of Digitopolis. Subtraction stew. The more you eat, the hungrier you get. What? We never eat. When we get hungry, we only eat when we repeat, and then we eat until we're empty. To us it's logical, and very neat, the more you want, the less you get, the less you get, the more you have. they come back? Well, we're here to rescue them. With your permission, of course. Well, has that wretch as has agreed to it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, then I don't. We never agree on anything and we never will. Never? Mm. Are you sure? Never. And only if you can prove otherwise will I give you my permission to go. Then you allege that whatever Azaz agrees to, you disagree with. Correct. And whatever Azaz disagrees with, you agree to. Also correct. Then each of you agrees that he will disagree with whatever the other agrees to. So, if both of you disagree with the same things, aren't you agreeing to something? Well, I've been tricked! Oh, he agrees, so 
I disagree, and then I agree, so he disagrees, so then we agree to disagree. Oh. <laughs> well, there's no kidding around that. Go if you must, and good luck to you, you're going to need. Oh, but I do have one means of helping you, though. Your magic staff. Use it well, and there is no problem you cannot solve. Thank you so much. Oh, but even with this, it is a perilous journey, and the monsters will be waiting for you in the mountains of ignorance. Wait, do they know we're coming? Of course. How? They always know. But there is a problem even more serious than that. What's, What's that? that? Well, I'm afraid I can only tell you that when and if you return. Well, good luck, Milo. <laughs> Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye. What a weirdo. Uh, the mountains of ignorance are straight ahead. You can't miss them. Good luck, my boy. thick and heavy, a cruel wind shrieked through the rocks and crevices, and everywhere they looked, or didn't look, the monsters were waiting for them just out of sight. Someone's coming! It's him! And that dog, ugh! Come on, we're waiting for you with open arms. Your old friend! Now you're going to get it. Right here in these dreary, greasy mountains. Nothing personal, of course, but this is the end of the line, dear. Whatever you do, we'll get ya. Oh dear, I didn't really wanted to get to the castle. 
After all, Milo, you never finish anything you start. I was only trying to help. Anyway, you must be tired. Why not take a little nap? No one will mind. Why, anyone can see her coming down with a very bad cold. And I'm sure you never got the assignment. There, there. No need to be concerned. Just relax. Oh, you need to get up. It's a Saturday. So of course, Saturday. But, but, wait a minute. It's Thursday. You give nothing but bad advice. But what do you expect? I'm the monster of insincerity. Oh, dear. There's no point to try to help you anymore. You're just not the same Milo. I'm going home. <laughs> Tell me, when were you born? Where were you born? Why were you born? How old are you now? How old were you then? How old will you be in a while? Your home address, your parents' names, and just how long have you lived there? Then may we go? Why, of course. Just as soon as you tell me. Your height, your weight, your shoe size, coat size, hat size, glove size. And the station of which these are the capital cities. Boston, Charleston, Albany, Sacramento, St. Paul, and finally, how do you spell Mozambique? Use these forms. Three copies of each. Remember, <laughs> neatness counts. <laughs> we'll never finish these. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. They'll never finish. Never. I'm the senses taker. I'll steal your sense of proportion. I'll seize your sense of duty. And I'll destroy your sense of purpose. <laughs> Son, that's my pencil. Oh! Milo, I used to know. Oh, I think he's lost a sense of balance. Come on, these monsters aren't so scary once you get to know them. Let's go. <laughs> Twisted up through the darkness, it was steep and narrow, and there was no rails to guide them. The wind howled, but up and up they went until the clouds parted. You must have been wondrously clever. Indeed he was, princesses. Well, I don't feel very clever. Now that we're up here, I'm not sure how to get us back down without the monsters catching us. The truth is, I don't know much about anything. It never seemed to matter that much before. My Lord, we can understand why you feel so glad.
I think we're moving. We're drifting to our doom. We have to leave right now. Dear sister, I agree. But how? 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 Yes! I know how to do it. How? how? Time flies, doesn't it? Yes, but I... Really? Of course. Time flies. And this is the one time where it should. Grab on to me, everybody. I'll take you all down. I'll show you how time flies. Ready? One, two. Uh, 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 are you sure you can take us all? We'll find out soon enough. We'll be all right. Just hold on tight. One, two. Oh, time be steady in my flight. <laughs> on the count of three, I'll jump. One, two, three. To Talk's Tale and Tight Ways We Go, Milo and the two princesses plummeted towards Earth, well aware that the monsters were waiting for them. We're alive. We're not dead. We're alive. We're not dead. as I thought he once was. Where is he? He is posting guards around the area in case the monsters try to return. Will you get all of them? Sadly to say, they'll still be out there somewhere, perhaps closer than you think. Or waiting for you at home, you must always be on your guard. Milo, you are amazing. What courage! <laughs> to tell the truth, I was extremely scared. I never knew a pencil and a dictionary could be so powerful. We might have been harmed if not for you. And speaking of courage, you were brave too. You're a good dog. <laughs> we have missed you. <clears throat> Henceforth and forthwith let it be known that Princess Rhyme and Princess Reason shall reign once more in the land of wisdom. Furthermore, <laughs> let it also be known that the boy Milo and the dog Doc are hereby considered to be heroes of the road. I never could have done it without all of you helping me. <laughs> that is true, you can't deny it. But you have the courage to try. And sometimes, what you can do is only a matter of what you will do. That's why there was that one important, important piece of information I couldn't tell you until you returned. Nor I. I remember. Can you tell me now? We thought your mission was impossible. And if we had told you then, you might have not gone. And as you've learned, Many things are possible as long as you don't believe that they're impossible. Now we all have much to do, so you must go, and we must too. Alas, Milo, it's time for you to say goodbye. To everyone? Can't you come with me? 
I'm afraid they do need a watchdog here, but remember, I'll always be with you. Thanks, buddy. I'll miss you. I'll come back. I will. I'll try. I'll try. Adios. Arrivederci. And numbers? Numbers! Numbers! Before he knew it, he was back where he started. It suddenly occurred to him that he had never been gone for so long. Whoa, whoa that's crazy! What, wait, wait a minute. I hope no one's worried. Oh, good, it's only 4 o'clock. Wait, wait a minute, 4 o'clock? That's impossible! Wait, where's the toll booth? And my car. What's this? Dear Milo, you have now completed your trip. You have now completed your trip, courtesy of the Phantom Toll Booth. Please understand why we had to come and collect it. There are so many other boys and girls waiting to use it. There are many lands you've still to visit and wonderful things to see. You'll find a way to reach them all by yourself. For now, you know the way. Yes, I do know the way now. I really do. And I'd like to make another trip, but I'm afraid I won't have the time. There's so much to do right here. I'm gonna be busy. There's so much to do. That all seems so pointless before. My games and my piano, my mic and my books, and tons of ideas I plan to explore. Okay. 